covering the South Bay. A protest shut down the Otay Mesa border crossing today, potentially costing local businesses hundreds of thousands of dollars. 10 News reporter Joe Little explains why the Chamber of Commerce says the damage could last longer. From Sky 10, you can see them. Hundreds of protesters clogging the lanes at the Otay Mesa port of entry. Right around 10.30 Monday morning, a long line of tractor trailers headed for Mexico came to a standstill. For more than two hours. Nothing moved south. The Mexican government raised the fees tied to used American cars heading into Mexico. To avoid the fees, used car dealers have cut shipments 80 percent, hence the protest. They are very unhappy with the fees that the Mexican government is charging. Alejandra Mir Itiran is the executive director for the Otay Mesa Chamber of Commerce. She was frustrated by Monday's protest. We're sending out this message to the world that we're an unstable region and when we should be sending out the message that we're competitive. The San Diego Association of Governments says we lose six to seven billion dollars a year because of traffic delays at the border. Obviously they lose millions of dollars if they can't get their merchandise to the right place at the time when it's supposed to be there. And it was costly. All these trucks didn't arrive on time which causes delays in production, delays that cost money. It, it sends out the wrong message. Completely blocking the port was a punch to the stomach. It adds to the chaos. In Otay Mesa, Joe Little, 10 News.